585 million naira fraud. ESCC concludes probe of suspended minister Beta Edo says reports now with Tinubu. And now to the news in full. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, ESCC, has noted that it has presented findings from its investigation of former Minister of Humanitarian Resources, Beta Edu, to President Bola Tinubu. The ESCC Director of Public Affairs, Wilson Uwajarin, disclosed this while stating the achievement of the Commission under current Chairman Ola Olukoyede. While speaking on Beta Edu, Uwajarin said, I don't know the outcome, but I believe that we have submitted the preliminary report to the President. You don't know the outcome, but you submitted the report to the President. So you submitted what you don't know to the President. And I believe that we are still on the matter. But Edo was suspended after being alleged of transferring 585 million naira meant for vulnerable groups into private bank accounts. This is even as the Commission said it was investigating some officials, some bank officials, for various offences. According to the Anti-Graft Agency, about five bank executives. According to the Anti-Graft Agency, about five bank executives are serving various jail terms at the custodial centers in the country. The AISCC, however, failed to mention names of the bank executives on that probe, even as it noted that the bank sector has not been overlooked in the last year. It said. It is just for us to look back and realize that ESCC has never shifted focus from any sector between 2009 and 2011. At least five bank executives were investigated and served their jail terms. There are still some that are under investigation. Lies. Anything that you would do, that people don't show us, is a lie. Which jail term did they serve? Be deceiving yourselves there. They are not politicians. Bank MDs are not immune to investigation or prosecution by the ESCC. We cannot mention names until those things are concluded. The last time I checked, we mentioned the number of bank accounts that we were monitoring. We were looking at about 140 accounts, and we know it takes time to look into and get the required information. On the investigation of controversial cross-dresser Idris Okunaye, a.k.a. Bobriski's allegation, Uwajarin said Bobriski could face a fresh charge from the Commission if the allegations against the ESCC are false. Bobriski had in his voice notes shared by controversial social critic Martin Osse, who is also referred to as very dark man, said he bribed ESCC officers with 15 million naira to drop money laundry charges against him. Bobriski does not have that kind of money. Let's not deceive ourselves. This is a lie. You know he was lying. He was bragging. Although the ESCC denied the allegation, it set up a committee to investigate the matter. Providing an update, Wajarin stated that one could be charged for giving false information to the ESCC, let alone making false allegations against the Commission. There is a portion of the ESCC Act that states if you give false information, you can be tried, but in this case, it is an allegation against the agency. I don't want to preempt the panel investigating the matter once we are through. With the investigation, we will definitely brief you on the outcome, he said. Okay, we'll brief also. But this woman that stole 585 million, do you think it is actually possible for one person to to siphon that amount of money without having support from other people? They just want her to take the fall for this. That is what I believe. Because only her cannot steal that amount of money. 585 million, what kind of greediness is that? Akiyemi Johnson well, says, Tinubu is now the court of law. I've been at Tinubu care, I've been wiki. Wiki safe. Infinity the playmaker says, clearly, ESCC isn't independent. Of course. Of course, we all know that since now. Tete. Fabian Egolum says, this is what we have been saying. This is a failed nation. The president will decide either she will be prosecuted or not. It's laughable. Because you, you did an investigation, maybe you found out that, okay, she actually did it, or she didn't do it, but you did not do what you're supposed to do, then you're taking your reports to the president. It's the president, ESCC. So if the president says, okay, if she wasn't, um, if she didn't steal the money, and you made your, your investigation, and you found out, and you took it to the president, and the president upon saying is say, okay, even though, even though she, she, she didn't do the, she didn't do, she didn't do anything, still prosecute her. What does that, what does that mean? What does that make you, ESCC? Are you supposed to do the probing yourself and come out and say, oh, she's guilty. Oh, she's not guilty. 
Why are you waiting for the president? Why are you taking your reports to the president? Why? Is he, is he an ESC agent? Is he an ESC official? Because I don't understand. He says, Mohamed Sani says, I don't understand English, but anything you said about Tinobu is true. <laughs> Very funny. Lawrence Okonoja says, until Tinobu gives them go ahead before they do the needful. Nigeria, my country. It is well. Because I don't know why you have to collect your ESCC. ESCC should even be able to probe the president. But yes, you are taking your report to him to tell him first he is the one that will make decision for you in this country. Now what? And Usi says, no wonder why Yaya Bello has been visiting the Abuja office. Yes, they claim they don't know his whereabouts. Exactly. Because, okay, they've done their investigation and they've taken it to Sinubu. And Sinubu has said, oh, leave him alone. No more, no more. Abi, that is what they are doing in this country. Man, no man. Doing rule that favors only them, only the rich. But if it is poor people now, or somebody that steals a hundred naira, that one, they would, they would even sentence you to death by hanging, just because you stole chicken change. But these people stealing billions, millions, they are walking freely on the road just because they have the power to do so. That is why they used to advise them that if you want to steal money in this country, you don't steal petty, petty money, you steal big money. So that's when they get, when you get caught, you can settle them with change, you settle everybody. And then the case will die a natural death. That is the kind of country that we have found ourselves. Hmm? Where you have to go and meet the president before you go ahead with arresting somebody for doing something. Why? Chimaduka says she doesn't have structure like Ayabelo Abina. Joseph Fedoba says, ha ha. When did Tinobu become the CJN of, of Nigeria? If you ask me, now who I go ask? It is well. Patrick Ovey says, Tinobu is now the law court. You guys should keep exposing yourselves daily, which means you only go after his enemies in the fight against corruption. Obviously. Obviously, people that are in his cohorts, in his cabinet, you can't do anything to them because, oh, that is why everybody is running to APC. That is why you see all those ministers, all those senators, all those House of Rep running to APC, the campaign to APC, so that uh, they will be friends with the president. And when it's time to probe them, the president will say, leave him alone, he's my party member. That is what they are doing. Pastor Kenneth says, are you sure it is not the same trap they set for Bianca Oduko? She better run for her life, Abby, before they say she stole money now. Who knows? Who knows if this person did not even steal money, they are saying she stole money. Because how can only her steal that amount of money under the watch of, of other ministers and they, they did not see it, they did not do anything about it. It is well, my listeners, over to now. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.